Good morning or good afternoon folks. I'm at Tardy Big, not far from the top lock. It's somewhere I really love this area. I haven't been up for a while. I may include a little drone shot of the top lock in this video if I remember. Uh, anyway, the usual things. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's hope we have the shot and I must say a big hello because so I've got quite a few new subscribers. I did send my video clip in to a fellow um, YouTuber who has a live show on and he put it on and uh, my subscribers suddenly, you know, he promoted me a bit. So that was nice. Anyway, uh, I'm going on a public footpath walk now. Um, I did have a, someone give me a comment, a farmer, about uh, the walks I go on, and I'll talk more about that in a bit. But uh, one of the reasons I got the OS map was so I could stay on the path, because what happens is you come into a field, there's an arrow, or it's missing, you don't know where to go. This is where it does cause problems, because I have said it before, that the... Uh, like this field in the background here, that's a farmer's field, but to him, that's his back garden. It's a bit like when you get someone walking across your back garden, if you're only allowed to go on the path and you go off course. But sometimes it's our fault, but sometimes you can't blame the farmers, but there's no signs up uh, directing people and that's where it causes problems. Anyway, more about that in a bit, folks. So follow me on this public footpath walk. Yeah, I'm walking down to the top block and the public footpath should be on the left. Again, I've got the app, which I'm gonna follow. The sun was out earlier, it's gone in now, but it's still a nice day. So follow me, folks. Well, there's me route, folks. On that little arrow at the bottom, I haven't got to the start yet, so uh, it's very accurate, this map, but, uh, you know, sometimes you do right from wrong, you can walk across the middle of a field with crops in or go around the edge uh, to avoid it, you know, but uh, anyway, we'll talk more in a bit, so I'm going to just carry on down here. This is the route, this is on, um, this is the normal map. I have got the OS, I can switch to that and I can also switch to the aerial view to give me uh, guidance, so follow me. On my boat a few times there, just get that in. Yeah, so I'm just heading down here to uh, find the entrance to the public footpath folks, so follow me. I'm just going to do a little pan round where I am. It's a lovely reflection on that boat and I love those trees. Sometimes the years, the colours look fantastic. Just a little bit of information on the Tidy Big New Wharf while I'm here.
folks. I have mentioned uh, in the past, I've had three narrow boats. I would love another one, but being uh, a single bloke, it's hard work, uh, you know, uh, man in a boat. Uh, so, um, any offers? <laughs> anyway, it's another story. Um, yeah, so I used to uh, have my boat, but it was repaired over there. John Pinder had a dry dock there. I think the dry dock's still there. There's some lovely boats. Uh, I can see someone looking out the window of a boat there. Anyway, just going past the water gypsy here. And uh, I'm going to get the map out to find out where this public footpath is, folks. This looks like it here, folks. So before I go up on it, I'm going to have a quick look at the locks. Follow me. Yes, folks, this is a tidy big uh, top lock here. Um, Bromsgrove's over that way. Uh, Hanbury's that way, Droitwich over there, Redditch is there, Assel Bank up there. So I'm going to jump onto the public footpath now folks. Not, I'm not jumping in the canal this time or going in any water. I'm still a bit nervous around water at the moment but that's another story. Follow me. On looks way but looks like it is. So. I'm just going to go across this bridge, well, uh, not bridge folks, uh, style, so follow me. Map sort of like, you can see the canal and I've got to go straight across this field, so uh, follow me folks. That's the Tidyby Church there in the distance. Yeah, I've got me 4 before 4 well is on. And Paul, uh, as to me son, it wasn't the Wellies fault when I slipped. Uh, fantastic views behind me here. So, follow me folks. The views fantastic here uh, you've got the wharf over there I say there used to be a chap Malcolm had his boat part where that blue one is uh, many years he had an old traditional boat lovely chap Malcolm Malcolm Ward his name was uh, uh, yeah it's lovely this is my first uh, kissing gate, folks. Still haven't brought me any luck on the dating site. Uh, I'm not saying which one I'm on, but they were so, my mum used to say to me when I was little, when a girl dumped me years ago, well, there's plenty of fish in the sea, Roy. But anyway, it's another story. Um, yeah, this is the Monarch's Way. There is a sign here about it. It says, the Monarch's Way is a 615 mile walking trail following the escape of Charles II after the Battle of Worcester in 1651. So, uh, for further information, visit monarchway.50megs.com. So, follow that, folks and follow me. Yeah, it's handy having my microphone on this lanyard because I just swing it round right to the back of my neck and I know I'm not going to lose signal as I make my way up here. Follow me folks. This is uh the old part of the cemetery and the back of the church there, that looks nice. Rest in peace everybody. Well I've come to the top and I'm by Tidyby Church. Uh, 
further back on my channel which I'm going to try and learn how to share the links below but if you look through there is a video on the church on there from the summer check it out folks and uh, rest in peace everybody here just a quick shot of the church there yeah, so there's more video on the uh, channel about this church or the school it's on my left uh, I don't know if it's open or not but I generally don't really film schools unless I know they're closed so anyway it's a fantastic view uh, again rest in peace everybody that's here to all the you know the loved ones uh, so I've got their loved ones here, you know, rest in peace. Let's do a little shot across. A lot of people can't get here at the moment. So, a little shot of the church there. I'm, well, oh, well, last time I think it was in the summer when I came up here, I saw this sign to the public footpath here. And obviously now I've got the app and I've, I've got more information. This is where it goes folks, I'm just going to come round and I've got a head down there, so follow me folks. <laughs> Children in the background, uh, obviously uh, I think it's the key workers, uh, children, so uh, well to all the key workers, whoever you are, uh, from delivery drivers to volunteers to nurses, doctors, etc uh, thank you from me for all what you do anyway just follow me down this path right this is where i've come out folks and sometimes with the public footpaths it's easy when you can actually see a path going across a field so there is one there so follow me the kissing gate folks Follow me. Put the map onto aerial, and I've got to go across this field. There is a path there, it's gone off now, but, uh, and there's the tree showing that on the map where I've got to go. Now this field's got something planted in it, uh, but they've left a path for you to go across. So, uh, I'll say sometimes I thought it'd be better to, uh, walk around the edges it's a bit debatable whether you're supposed to do that but this has got a clear path so i'm going across it yeah i was looking on google or google whatever it's called uh, on what a uh, few things about public footpaths and uh, the one thing i found out was if the path goes across the middle of a field the farmer can play that field within 14 days he's supposed to make it right for people to walk across they can divert the paths if necessary because i have seen it when there's been horses in a field and they've put signs up to get you around which is great uh, they're not supposed to put a bull in a field because it can endanger life I don't know how exact that is with the law, this is just off Dougal. I'm no expert or solicitor on it or anything. And the public footpath is only about two to three foot wide. So you have got to stick on that the best that you can. But sometimes when there's no signs up, and it's the first time you've been on that walk, it is difficult. That's why I've got the map that uh, I do off, go off course sometimes but uh, I'll try my best to uh, stick to the path because these public footpaths are for us any public person in England to go and walk on we've got the right you know to go across the land which uh, in Redditch 
there's hundreds of different routes you can go on and it's all free it's so relaxing and the views get you away from your internet as you know uh, xboxes and um there's no shops here to spend money no mcdonald's no cafes which i wish there was sometimes but uh, i could have brought me flask i suppose that's another story but uh, anyway i'm heading on course for me next uh, little gate here so follow me folks and that's another story right that's where i've come from and uh, this is uh i say i'm coming up to the style where i've just been across just here folks follow me this is my favorite uh <laughs> well looking at these signs on here it's a bit confused.com which way you gotta go that's why i've got the uh app to help me on my way right so i've come out onto the field looks like the clouds coming over over there i haven't got an umbrella with me but I think I've got to go to the right. There's no signs of any footprints which should give you a guide. So what I'm going to do is I'll just walk a little bit and then the phone, I'll keep an army map and it'll soon show me if I'm going off course. Follow me. I'm on course now. I took a right over that gate and uh, obviously uh, it's uh i was going the wrong way so follow me folks i think i'm on course now right uh i'm on course folks uh the gate i've come through was over there i've just walked around the edge of the field uh which seemed to go with me map and now i'm just going to pan around where I am and now I can see a path over there so I'm going to start walking on that I can check the OS maps to make sure I'm on course follow me folks I'm going to do a little pan round so I know everyone can't get out at the moment and I so say I can be your eyes and legs on these walks just to see the views the sun's not really shining but it's still nice follow me hey folks it's a muddy one i've walked across this field left and right a bit trying to get me bearings uh eventually uh i think i'm on course now there is another walk because the monarch way goes over there well, I'm heading back towards Tardybig, towards these nurseries, which I'll show you in a sec, which is another way. So follow me. Yeah, now my route's across here, but I don't know why the OS map just came to sort of say I was going the wrong way. But anyway, I sort of followed across the field. Eventually, I think I'm on course, I hope anyway. So follow me, folks. Yes, this looks like the uh, path here. It was a bit of a nightmare to find, even if you got the OS maps. It's a difficult one because it does show you having to walk across the field. I can see some footprints there, but I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, the farmers prefer you to go around the edge or through the middle of their crops put your comments below folks let me know what you think yes that was a tricky one to find my way when you're trying to stick to the maps but uh, again i'm gonna do these in reverse in the summer so uh, at least i can try and you know learn more about using the map Follow me, folks. Yeah, that's where I've just walked up from. There. I don't think it's a real heron. 
in that pond, a lovely house to the right, well kept gardens, looks nice. Um, I'm just going to swing around now, I'll show you a shot the other way folks. This is the driveway, I've got to go down, it's nice to be out, out of all that mud. So, uh, there's a nursery here on my left, and I'll join. It's a little B road, which will take me. Just dropped my phone out of my pocket, I was lucky. Uh, that'll take me to uh, back to the car. Quick hello again to all the new and all my subscribers, anyone that watches the. Uh, uh, channel it's great um, yeah it's been a muddy one I've got these waterproof trousers on today and I tell you what, it's a good job that I had them on because uh, my legs my wellies are clean but uh, my legs aren't but I'll get the hose pipe on them when I get home so uh, yeah so it's been a nice walk um, I have tried to stick to the paths but even with lack of signs and uh, the ways to go it is difficult um, and you don't know whether you're doing the right thing walking across a field where the map shows you've got a crop or do you go around the edge I don't know what the answer to that is but I think just use your common sense now I don't think I mentioned but I was on Google or Google earlier today and regarding dogs and taking them on walks uh, on public footpaths, you don't have to put your dog on a lead, but uh, that's if you can control your dog. Um, if you can't, keep it on the lead, because it's not fair to other people like me or families or other dog owners who've got their dogs on the lead that can get attacked etc so just take care on that one uh, we all love our animals and uh, you know so if you love your animal look after it and uh, think about others anyway that's another story so and have a nice weekend everybody i hope to do a walk tomorrow uh, weather permitting again so uh, anyway, catch you in a bit folks. Good evening, good morning or good afternoon. That sheep looks an heavy weight. It's a nice one. Not interested in having a chat. Okay, take care, have a good weekend. Another one coming on the scene there. Just having a chit chat, that's my brother Brian's word to that nice lady and she was telling me all about the sheep, uh, these are male sheep apparently and she was on about that one there with his little legs, uh, yeah so uh, I did spot him, he's a, that is a nice little sheep that one there, I'll try and get a better view in a minute Friends face, good evening, good morning or good afternoon no, still not interested in speaking to me. Oh well, they are nice. Hi folks, yeah. That was a muddy walk, but I enjoyed it and it's really good exercise and refreshing. There's lots of um, public footpath walks around Redditch, so uh, it's, it's free to go. Uh, so get out there and do some walking, especially in these Covid times, it's a lot safer than going to a park. So uh, anyway, catch you in a bit folks, bye for now. Spotted some snowdrops here on the lane, I thought they were for a video. So uh, follow me folks. Yeah, just walking uh, back to the uh, car now. What I've done was I parked my car a bit closer. I haven't left it at the wharf, so I haven't got so far to walk. And there's the Hill Bowling Club. 
their new members welcome folks so when the covid's over somewhere you can go spotted on the end of this uh, line here another public footpath so it'll be another day another walk i'll be heading that way folks location at the moment folks uh to a swing round here uh, that's up to tardy big there and this is holly oaks line there so and then uh, obviously that well just come through must be bentley there yeah that was a nice walk folks yeah it's been a nice walk these uh trousers they are a bit baggy there is a song baggy trousers but i only sing in the bath so i can't uh, sing it but uh i've met a few people on the walk not so much uh, across the field but just walking to it i met one chap and we had an interesting talk about photography and uh a nice chap he was 74 and I said, oh, where do you live? And he said he's homeless. He lives somewhere in this area in the woods. I'm going to give... He didn't give me any location because I can't say where, but he was fit and healthy. He said he's lived homeless for seven years. That is a shame. But he was uh, all well. So that's the main thing. I spoke to another lady who was going on a walk to the Queen's Head. Uh, spoke to a couple of dog walkers and uh, talked to the lady about the sheep so uh, it's been all good so I'm nearly back at my wheels now folks so uh, catch you in a bit hi folks I'm going to end the video now hope you've been, enjoyed the walk it's been a muddy one so don't forget to do the usual like and subscribe also let's hope you have the jab or the shot uh, and I say hi to everybody hi to all the new subscribers as well and uh, catch you all on another video very soon folks bye for now bye bye